think trash talk is good for any sport. I think that for the fans, you know, it's very entertaining for the fans. For all the media coverage, it's a good way to sell tickets for the venue, which I think is going to sell out pretty quickly. And in this case, um, you pretty much have the best of both worlds. And for an individual like myself that's probably going to watch the fight on pay-per-view, um, I don't want to spend a hundred bucks to watch this guy read a book. I want to see somebody get put to sleep. I want to see somebody else get knocked the fuck out. More than likely, Mayweather is going to be the person who put Conor McGregor ass to sleep. I don't think that McGregor can outbox Mayweather. I mean, it's a pretty good chance he's going to put his ass to sleep. That's, let's just be real. I mean, you're literally talking about a guy who's been boxing his whole life. I think Conor, Conor McGregor has like a little experience, but it's mostly on the MMA side, meaning that, you know, he has a lot of experience, you know, like with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and, you know, Muay Thai and stuff like that, kickboxing and ground fighting. But that's pretty much about it. And the only slight advantage that he might have coming into the fight would be, um, I guess, the height reach advantage because he's a little taller than Floyd, so he might have reach. And then, you know, he has youth. He's 28 years old and Floyd is 40. So, I mean, other than that, you know, he might he might start out, he might start out, he might be a little quicker, a little faster. But if he all he has to do pretty much is just take him the distance. In the later rounds, he can pretty much just put him away. So, because I don't even think he's used to fighting that many rounds because they don't fight that many rounds in MMA. So, it's kind of a no-brainer. So if you're going to put your money on somebody, I would probably put it on Mayweather. And I haven't seen anyone else's video relating to this event, but I'm pretty sure by now someone's made the reference about this fight uh, being like that Damon Wayans movie, The Great White Hype. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of old movie. It came out in like 96. <laughs> it just seems like this is like life imitating art in 2017. And to be honest, I'm not hating because I'm a fan of both sports. But boxing has been around longer, and let's that's, that's just be real. I don't think Conor McGregor's not going to win this fight. So all this stuff that's going on with the media circus and all that stuff is it's just all hype to sell tickets and just to get more exposure, you know, to the fight. Obviously, I mean, and a lot of people are going to tune in. Just I don't know if they're going to you know throw away a hundred dollars to watch it, but I mean, might just wait for the highlights, you know, after the fight's over, which I don't think, you know, I, I think it's going to go pretty quickly. But yeah, he's 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 not going to win. He's going to lose.